Uh, we got a sexy Accord over here. It's a 2.0, 10 speed, uh, automatic. And looking at the front, then the chrome delete on the on the grill. And also got the Yofers, um, Yofers lip. Yofers lip, right? Yeah. yeah. So this is the Yofers front lip. You know the Akasaka ones is a bit more flat and longer in the, from the middle, so it's the only difference. But I like the Yofers more. It's more aggressive, especially from the corners right there. It goes up, it's like more modern, so I like that a lot more. Let's show you a side view of it, if you guys like it. That's how it looks. And make sure you guys follow him on his IG. I'll put that in the description below, but I'll do mention it right here. These are These 20 inch wheels are sexy they look great in this accord they match in i like how the front is uh more lower than the back as you can see you move from here the shot you can see see that front is lowered more and the rear is a little bit up so it's more aggressive it's really great so what's the wheel setup on this one the front uh so all around 20 by 10 with a 38 offset 21 by 10 is all around and by offset is 38 so that's the wheel setup we got and then you have a uh, what springs you got uh, Tain. Tain, Tain, uh, Tain, Tain. Tain. you got the Aztec springs and they're pretty comfortable according to his experience and and driving so it doesn't throw you around it's very stiff it's a lot better than I would say coilover experience with this Accord that's the rear ones right here it's a setup in the back and get your side view and they're flushed out as well it's just this is perfect look at that that is beautiful beautifully flushed nice and the rear is not much done to it yet there's more modifications gonna be done to it soon um, especially like a intake maybe a upper torque mount the bottom torque mounts to get more power out of it and it's gonna be tuned to stage three so we definitely gonna check out how it goes and it's moving to this side you guys are gonna be asking me what percent of tins he got I get that a lot so I'm just gonna tell you right now so these are five percent right here five percent tin and uh, five percent here you can see you can't really see inside same thing here you can't see inside and you can see inside just a little bit that's 20% so that's 20 percent you just see a little bit inside see that that's 20 percent right here in the front and the windshield uh windshield has a five percent sunstrip so the windshield's got a five percent sunstrip right here on top so but nothing done in the bottom there you go and yeah and the question you guys had a question on subwoofers do you mind? Here's that's his IG right there, guys. Make sure you guys follow him, DM him if you got any questions. Jays underscore Accord underscore X. And you want to show the um, subwoofer? I'll tell you guys right now, since you guys are requesting a setup on that, so real quick. So how do we set this up? Uh, so it's a uh, 12 inch Sundown. Um, it's an SA12, uh, thousand watt sub. Nice. I got a. Uh, Rockford Crossgate amp. It's around 900 watts to even out the power. Um, everything is just simply wired. The sub is wired to the speaker up here. Where it's wired right here. Up so there. it gets some. It gets feed from that speaker yeah. to the sub, and then everything. So the wires from for this is in the back, right? Yep, it's all in the back. Okay, um, so that's coming out from the back to here. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Uh, so that is that's where the sub is getting its feed from and you got the uh, uh, ground wire in the back um, amp is also in the back of the sub everything's nice and neat and tucked away what about this one this side right here that's just a positive and negative um, positive and negative from versus, the amp. and it's going down to it's going to the amp in the oh back. to the amp all the way in the back yeah. got you um 
Then you have the power wire and the remote wire going up to the front. Cool. Uh, with the nice circuit breaker up front. Nice. Uh, pretty simple setup. Yep. Um, I right, to turn it on. See how it sounds. Yeah. Nobody's here anyway. <laughs> so yeah, he's gonna turn it on um, a little bit, and I'm just gonna move closer from closer, and then move all the way back. See how it sounds. You're not gonna get the full justice in the video, but still, you'll get a point. So I was able to hear like all the way up to here the whole base and everything else. So I think it's a perfect setup for those who's trying to stay, you know, not to go crazy with it. That's that's a really nice uh setup. It's very subtle, it's great, it's not too high and not too low. It's perfectly right on the peak. It's beautifully done. And yeah. So that's it guys. That's done if you Drop a like, make sure to share the video, and I appreciate the support. And definitely, I'll be coming out with more content on this accord soon. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> Check this out from this angle. All right, so I'll show you guys real quick the K-Tuner. If you guys have any questions on the mats, they're WeatherTech made in the USA. There you have it. These are the mats. That's how they look like. He's got the small Android phone right here, using it as a K tuner view. Helps him out with everything right here. You know, the temperatures, the miles per hour, all that stuff. Airflow ratio, battery temperature. RPM, PSI, you name it. And you could also change this layout as well by going to settings. Um, yeah, so far, it's pretty clean look, but check out that duck right there, guys. <laughs> Drop a like for that. <laughs> and yeah, so stay tuned. More stuff is going to be coming out about this one. Peace out.